was Link and I having what we call a man day. The girls went to see a movie, and so just Link and I just do man stuff whenever the girls leave us. And so he wanted to ride go-karts, and so he went out in the go-kart. I ripped it up on a little mini bike, and that boy is insane. You may be wondering what's in the box. Let's open the box. Ooh, that skiff knife though. What's in the box, what's in the box, what's in the box? We have to know. Oh man, this is it guys. This is it. You were right if you guessed it's a grill guard. And I put it backwards. I thought I thought I had it the right way. Come on, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. I just want to see this in all its glory right in front of the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the brand new Ranch Hand Midnight Bumper. Dang it, in my mind that was gonna go way more epic. This is the new ranch hand bumper for my Dodge, obviously. It is the Midnight Series bumper, which is a brand new series. It just came out this year. It's just now available to the public, and it is their new Smooth Series bumper. So the other bumpers had like diamond plating and just looked a little more dated. This one is so cool looking. Growing up, my dad always had ranch hand bumpers on his truck. He had two F-250s. They both had ranch hands. He even had a big four-wheel drive Suburban. It had a big ranch hand grill guard on the front. He hit a deer with that thing he was going like 75 poof, exploded the deer not good for the deer but the bumper held up very well so ranch has been around forever they are a proven brand and now they have come out with a super slick looking bumper and I've wanted to put a bumper on old Earl for a long time because I mean he's just so wimpy looking you know I just really need some help just a totally ugly truck just kidding Earl you look amazing even with your stock bumper but I want to get rid of this chrome regular stock bumper and upgrade Earl's front end look. And I think I have just the thing to do it. This thing also has room for a winch and some lights, which will probably be on order very shortly. But first step is to take that ugly shiny thing off of Earl. How do you take off the bumper though? That's the real question. Yeah, popping the hood, that did nothing. I don't know why I did that. You guys wanna see the engine? Look at that. Cummins. Gosh, good looking. Okay, goodbye. Why is there duct tape? Huh. Well, that's... That's not held on very well. So we got little bolts around here. Oh, we probably got some big old frame mounted bolts somewhere around right there. Or maybe there. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Should be easy. Okay, Earl is bumperless. I think this whole thing comes off and I think there's a replacement bracket that hooks onto our frame rail there. But to get this off, I have to take off the inner cooler, which is here, there, and here. I don't know. Just figuring out how old Earl works. About to have to take all this apart though, so let's keep at it. Okay, so now I also need to take off this and that, but those have some giant bolts. I think they're 22 millimeter. I don't have a socket or a wrench that'll fit that. I tried putting a crescent wrench on there and hitting it with a sledgehammer. Didn't work, and it's probably a good thing it didn't because it probably would have broken something. So, uh, I actually have to run an errand anyway. You guys should come, it's gonna be fun. And then I will go to the store and grab a 22 millimeter socket and wrench to get that thing off. Bunker branding 2.0. I'll just let myself right in the front door here. Oh, <laughs> perfect. I told you guys like, last week that I was going to come back here in the daytime and show you what has been happening in bunker branding. So obviously it's getting framed out. And we just had a meeting with the guys who are gonna be building stairs because you can see we have a upper floor up there and there's gonna be stairs coming down here. I decided it'd be cool to make the stairs out of metal and so I hired the two high school guys that welded up the whole fence all around this and our gate and everything they did a great job and I was really excited that two young guys two 18 year old guys were so professional and did such great work so I was like I want those guys to come do more stuff here so we hey shh, trying to talk here so we Got a plan now for some stairs to go right there to get up to the upper level offices. Let me back up a little bit, show you what we got working. So right now we are in the 
warehouse part of the warehouse there's going to be a wall all across right there and that over there will all be the office part two levels as you can see offices down there offices up here and then this is going to be two floors as well bunch of stuff there i'll explain all this later and then this is actually going to be framed along there too with more rooms you can see we have pipes over there for bathrooms and stuff over there and then there'll be an upper level there as well in the big warehouse space more on that to come but this is what we have so far a lot of sticks going up in our warehouse and a lot more sticks left to go up now i'm going to go buy the 24 millimeter socket and wrench so we can get that bumper put on just driving this you know beautiful raptor which doesn't have a bumper. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I explained why I came up here. I didn't just come up here to show you that. I actually met the two guys to talk about the stairs and kind of finalize our plans um, because we're trying to all get on the same page as to what exactly we want to build, what they um, think is best structurally, and what they think will look the best. And so I think we got a pretty good plan. They're going to go um, mock it up. They, they like did it all in this program and everything. It looks really cool. So they're gonna go mock it up, get me an estimate, and then we'll order some metal and start welding. Got a 24 here, but they don't have a wrench in 24. They only have big ones in standard, and so one inch should be a little big, but should fit. That is an underrun guard. Apparently it guards this thing from underrunning, so we don't care about that anymore. Okay, so now I gotta mount the frame mount. I think it goes, yeah, just like that. Okay, got it tightened down. Two super solid bolts, all pretty and new. So that one's good, just need to do this one. Oh yeah, looking good. Now I just gotta figure out how to pick up this heavy thing and hold it here while getting the bolts to pass through. That should be super easy though. I'm really strong. Whew, that was easy. I just like grabbed it with one hand and then I just used the other hand to stick the bolts in. It was so easy. It was actually really hard. Oh, no, no. So the first time I tied the straps on to both sides here because I was trying to make it balance, but then it swung and it was really unbalanced. I had it hanging from this thing with the straps going all across. Then the strap slipped and the whole thing crashed down. Scratched it on the bottom just a little bit. It's fine though. So then I was like, well, maybe it'll balance here. And I thought it'll never balance here, but I just put a hook here and it balanced. So I basically used that lift and just got it close enough that I could kind of swing it into place and I get one bolt kind of set in, go over here, get one bolt. Finally just kept putting bolts in until I got eight bolts in and then I just slowly started snugging them all down and then I got them all tight and I took the lift off and boom! We have a solid bumper. Earl man, you're looking good, God. So beefy. So I actually see these holes here. They actually have little covers. I'm just not putting them in just yet, but you can imagine once that thing is all in there, it'll look just like the rest of it. Uh, that's a little fog light cover. I'm gonna leave those off for right now. I have some other stuff that I'm gonna do before I install those things. I do also wanna get some lights, like a little light bar down there, maybe a light bar up top there too, and then, I want a winch. I have always wanted a truck with a winch. My entire life, I've always thought that was so cool. And like 20 times in my life, I could have used a truck with a winch. Like where somebody was stuck or the truck was stuck and it would have been really nice. And you know, we got them unstuck with toe straps and bouncing and it's just, a winch would have made it so much easier. And so I thought my beefiest truck, I probably should put a winch on this one. So I'm going to order a winch for old Earl. I guess this is the time that I pass the question off to you guys, what kind of lights do I do? I actually don't know much about light bars. I know actually really nothing about light bars. I've only bought light bars once, and it was for the Baja Beetle, and they worked great, but th that was three years ago, and I don't really remember what I got. 
So my question is, who makes a good one? What brands are good? What lumens should I be looking for? Where should I put them? Do I need one up there? Do I need one right there? Do I need some little side marker, fog marker things over here? What kind of light setup would you do if this was your truck and you wanted to make it the best that it could be? Also, winch. What size winch? 8, 10, 12? What do you think on the front of this thing? Comment below about lights, about winch, and uh, I really could use your help. Those who have them on your trucks, those who know about them, because I know nothing. Also, I misspoke earlier. I said this thing was brand new. It actually is brand new, um, but it's not actually available to the public just yet. It's about to be released to the public. So very soon you will be able to place your own order with Ranch Hand. I was just working with these guys, so I got it a little bit early. So the Ranch Hand Midnight Series bumper will be out shortly and you can maybe, maybe get a truck that looks as good as Earl. It's not likely though, because God, Earl is just, you're looking fine, buddy. Oh, I didn't tell you. So everyone knows we have Demolition Ranch and we also have Vet Ranch and then I have this little channel which I named Off The Ranch because, well, it wasn't on the other two ranches, so I was like, it's Off The Ranch. But we usually make all the videos still on the ranch. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but I digress. Then we did a little renovation series and we started calling that Renovation Ranch and it just flows and it rolls off the tongue and just, it fits perfectly. Renovation Ranch, not only is it a great series, the name is great. I think Meredith named it. But we didn't know what to call this stuff and this stuff and that stuff and all the car stuff. I was like, car ranch, automobile ranch, I don't know. And then someone at the bunker walked up to me and just said it and it was perfect. So we are now calling this stuff and this stuff and this stuff. Demolition wrench. Demolition Ranch. Demolition Ranch. Demolition Ranch. Demolition Ranch. Do you get it? More info on the Ranch Hand Midnight Series bumper in the description below. Thank you guys for watching Demolition Wrench. You're definitely gonna wanna watch the next episode because we are working on the ZR1 and doing a bunch of crazy stuff to, holy cow, what happened, Matt? The engine exploded. Yes, it did, and it's gonna explode a whole lot more tomorrow when I really do something crazy. I got big plans for this thing. You also are gonna wanna see the Renovation Ranch episode. I know that because I already filmed it. I just have to get it edited. And put on YouTube. It was awesome. We went ahead and moved in. The kids all picked their bedrooms. Mare was painting the kitchen. Remy already chewed up a wall. It was such a wholesome episode. None of that stuff is true, but it was great. And it should be up probably in three days, two days. I'm hoping. Thank you guys for watching all of our ranches and wrench videos. I love you and I'll see you next time. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>